We're up to another part of our conversation with Joe Bouchard from Blue Oyster Cult. Okay, you're in a doctor's office. Someone's beside you. You're striking up a conversation. Someone mm-hmm. says, so uh, not what you're in for. But what, what do you do? What do you say? Oh, I say I'm a professional musician and recording artist. And uh, But you know the next it, question. It, yes, are you a rock star? <laughs> and uh, I said, sure, sure. So I, okay, I, 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 in my younger days, I was full fledged. Now I'm sort of like the, uh, the legacy artist, the legacy artist who, uh, you know, is sort of dabbling around here. And every once in a while, I can try to hit a bullseye, you know. But they're going to ask you, have you done anything that I would know of? And of course, there's no one unless you're living under a rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, um, first of all, they, they sometimes they don't know the name Blue Oyster Cult, especially if they're a younger generation. But uh, then I say, well, have you heard of the phrase more cowbell? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, that was our band that started that. <laughs> started that whole thing rolling. You know, from the recording and then the comedy and, you know, and it's, you know, it's, uh, it's iconic in the, uh, in the uh, culture, you know. Do you find you that, go ahead. You don't know, you know, how those things happen, but, you know, it was just uh, one of those little, little things, you know, and it doesn't bother me. And I think everybody in the band feels the same way. We're just, we're we're happy that that we get recognized even if it's for just the cowbell but then it opens up the catalog and there's like depth to those songs there's depth to those songs and and it still has a life of its own it's is fantastic you know the rocket flame uh, uh yeah right. another one that looks rocket back flame. at the i like the audience in the beginning uh, looks yeah. back at uh, uh, another time yeah that is uh like when uh, Don't Fear the Reaper became a hit. We were on that, uh, that roller coaster. We was headed up, up the, the deep dive, up for the deep dive. And, you know, you just, uh, you know, that's, 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 that's what that's about, you know. You, you know, ride did the you, roller coaster rocket the fame. How did your parents, were they still around when, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. when all that happened? What, what, what was their reaction to it? I mean, they're boys. I mean, not just one kid, both kids in that genre. I mean, how many people in your family? How many siblings do you have? Se- uh, there were seven of us. F- I have five brothers and one sister. How did the family react to it? I mean, I know that's an obvious question. Oh, they, they, they loved it. They loved it. Yeah. They, uh, <clears throat> of course, when I first joined the band, my mother was so happy because I could keep an eye on my older brother. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you joined the band because you could keep an eye on him. Keep him out of trouble. Yeah, we, we, we did okay. We didn't, we didn't get into that much trouble. Um, still- none, none that we want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I know, of course. The devil in the, in the detail... Uh- Beautiful song, gorgeous. I like that. It's obviously synth orchestra, right? Yeah, synth orchestra. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, John Shirley's lyric. Uh, he sent th- those lyrics to another song, but I didn't want to. I didn't use them. Uh, they didn't fit. And then, as I was working on this, I just found those lyrics and I said, "I'll write something new for this." And I think it really, it fit the lyrics really well. It's it's a great three-tiered story <clears throat> uh, the uh the the waitress at the diner that's the first story the second story is uh the uh, the cop who stops you for speeding and there's a little you know um you know kind of a story to that and then the third story is um uh, the uh, lady in the church the church lady and so, and the devil's in the details. And then, you know, the, the story sort of expands a little bit. But he's great at, uh, you know, making those little, uh, uh, just short poems, yeah. just 
so 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 well balanced and and nuanced. So and it makes you was, think. It makes fun. you think. It makes you think. That's what yeah. those things do. Devils in the details. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed our conversation with Joe Bouchard. It's the second time we've ever talked to him, and he's always a pleasure to talk to. Links to the new album in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And the two P's of how you can help us out, Patreon. You can join our Patreon and get access to our videos sometimes over a month and a half early, or you can make a donation on PayPal. All the links are in the description. More from Joe Bouchard coming up in the next two, three days. This is Rock History Music.